And the Syrian people celebrated on April 17th the 78th anniversary of their independence from the French colonialism. Authorities noted that the commemoration takes place amid a growing determination and willingness to crack down terrorism encouraged by the West. Let's delve into further details with our correspondent Hisham Wanous from Damascus. On a day like today, the truth Troops of the Arab army reaffirm they won't lower their guard in defense of the independence achieved by their ancestors in 1946. A patriotic duty that they have been fulfilling through the battle they have been waging for 13 years against Western neo-colonialism, represented by terrorism, separatist gangs, foreign invading troops and the Israeli occupation. In this On this time we congratulate our brave army, and we commend its bold work in the homeland defense and in confronting all Western plots against our beloved Syria. In fact, our army accomplishes this task in cooperation with allies and friendly forces operating on Syrian soil at the request of the Syrian state. And we are sure that the army will spare no effort to keep Syria at the highest, proud, sovereign and independent level. Meanwhile, citizens are playing their role in this battle, working with their own resources and with the economic, humanitarian and social support of allied countries, in view of Western coercive measures, which are among the tools used by neo-colonialism to subdue the free Syrian people. We reaffirm on this date that neither terrorism nor its Western sponsors nor the blockade nor all its criminal tools can break our will to live and our faith with a better future, because faith has always accompanied us as a people, and will keep the faith. And we are a people who love life and who disseminate civilization, and we will continue to do so despite all adversities. Enemy's defeat is unavoidable. So affirms the Syrian people on this new anniversary of their independence, ratifying their determination to follow the example of their ancestors, and redeeming their homeland with their lives. Hisham Wanus, Telesur, Damasco, Syria.